Before we get started, let's talk a little bit about Panorama Consulting and who we are. We are a niche consulting firm focused on the ERP consulting space. We focus on three primary offerings. We offer our clients services in ERP software selection. Secondly, we provide services in ERP implementation project management. And thirdly, we provide offerings in organizational change management and benefits realization. We have experience in a number of different industry verticals, including manufacturing, distribution, supply chain, nonprofits, high growth companies, etc. And perhaps most importantly, we are vendor independent and neutral, which means we're not an SAP partner and we're not a partner of any other ERP vendors as well. Our deep ERP expertise focuses on ERP packages, uh, including over 100 different ERP software packages, including commonly known solutions such as SAP, Oracle, Microsoft Dynamics, etc. But we also work with a number of Tier 2 and Tier 3 niche industry-focused solutions like Epicor, Fujitsu, IFS, Infor, Sage, etc. So the information we're going to share today about SAP and how it compares to other ERP solutions in the marketplace is based on some benchmark research that Panorama Consulting Group conducted in early 2009. We published a report that looked at benchmark data from 1,300 organizations across the globe. We based the study on both quantitative information that was gathered through online surveys, as well as qualitative information we captured through deep dive interviews with samplings of of organizations within the study. We looked at organizations of all different sizes, ranging from small and mid-sized organizations all the way on up to large multinational companies. And we also looked at organizations that had implemented a variety of different ERP solutions, including Tier 1 solutions like SAP, along with other Tier 1 competitors like uh, Oracle, as well as Tier 2 and Best of Breed solutions and and niche-focused solutions as well. Now, if we look at the market share based on the study of 1,300 different implementations across the globe, we found that 35% of the participants in the study had implemented SAP. Um, The other 75% are broken up between Oracle, Microsoft Dynamics, and Tier 2 solutions. And these numbers you see here are fairly consistent with what most other industry analysts estimate in terms of market share in 2009. Now, some of the challenges we found in the study were that a majority of SAP projects, and actually this is true of of other vendors as well, but a majority of SAP and other ERP projects take longer than expected, cost more than expected, and fail to deliver at least 50% of the business benefits uh, promised or, or planned by the software. If we look at implementation duration and just look at a little bit more detail of how long some of these implementations actually take, we can compare SAP to some of the other Uh, solutions in the marketplace. The average SAP implementation, again, based on companies in in all different sizes, ranging from small to very large organizations, is 20 months compared to 18 months for uh, pretty much 18 to 18 and a half months for Microsoft, Oracle, and Tier 2 solutions. If we look at the median number for SAP, it's 19 months compared to 17 uh, for Oracle, 15 for Tier 2, and 18 and a half for, for Microsoft. And you can see there's a fairly uh, large deviation in some of this data, which means that there's a a larger amount with SAP, which means that there's a broader range of values within those averages. So the the takeaway message here is that in general, if we were to generalize based on the data and the averages we see here, SAP projects do tend to take a little bit longer than other projects from other solutions on average. Now, if we look at implementation cost, we see a similar pattern. The average SAP implementation, if we look at total cost of ownership ranging from software licensees, maintenance, hardware upgrades, technical implementation, project management, external consulting, etc., all of that adds up to close to $17 million for SAP compared to $12.5 million for Oracle, $3.5 million for Tier 2 solutions, and $2.5 million for Microsoft. The overall average, just by the way, across all solutions was $8.5 million. So SAP is about double Uh, what you would expect to see from other solutions. But the caveat here is SAP is generally and historically has been implemented by larger, more complex organizations. So that's it's a little bit natural that you are going to see a higher number there. If we look at cost as a percentage of revenue, we do see a similar pattern, though. We see that uh, 18.5% is the average total cost of ownership for an SAP solution as a percentage of revenue, compared to 10.5% for Oracle, 5% for Microsoft, and 6.5% for Tier 2 solutions. Now, I guess that's the bad news. Now, the good news with SAP is uh, if we start to look at solution satisfaction and benefits realization, this is where SAP really shines and kind of separates themselves from the pack. 
the benefits factor for SAP is 72% compared to 58% for Oracle and 68% for other solutions. And executive satisfaction is uh, just over 76%, uh, which is a, as you can see on this slide is, is a bit higher than other solutions. Employee satisfaction is, is a bit above average, not the highest, but above average uh, at 73.5%. And the overall average for overall satisfaction is the highest amongst the four categories at, at 73%. Now, if we look at business risk, there's more good news here. Now, these numbers are not by any means flattering for the ERP industry, but if we do look at these numbers, we can see that SAP actually has the lowest amount of business risk. And what this means is 50% of SAP projects, right at 50%, had some type of material operational disruption at go live compared to 57% to 62% for some of the other solutions out there. So it's not a low number, it's still a concerning number, but that risk factor is a bit lower uh, than some of the other ERP solutions in the marketplace. So if we were to summarize, we would say that SAP has the largest market share of all the ERP solutions in the marketplace. They have the longest duration and the highest level, or not the highest, but a high level of variability in the implementation duration. The average implementation cost is the highest and is about twice the average. So those first three bullets are kind of the, the bad news side of the equation. The good news is that once companies have gotten through the implementation, they do have the highest level of satisfaction, uh, very high level of business benefits, and the lowest business risk.